Hello there. I'm here to tell you of a magnificent tale from long ago in ancient Dwarfica. This is the story of Potato Day. Once upon a time, there was a potato once, but this was no ordinary, but this potato worked on a farm. However, his boss was a jerk. Potato, you lazy piece of starch, he said. What are you doing lazing around? There are crops to be harvested and seeds to be planted. One. And so the potato went about his labor on the farm, day after day, month after month, year after year, until the day finally came that he could escape this wretched place. It came when a strange man came to the farm and told the potato something extremely bizarre. Day, the potato going about his physical labor as every other day, but then the old man arrived. I need to speak with a potato that works here. Hey, potato, there's a man here who wants to speak to you. Heaven knows why. You're a nobody. <laughs> oh, there you are. I see you're working on the farm, as they said you would be. But I need to know. Are you ready? Who is this man, the potato thought to himself. Where did he come from, and why is he picking me up, and asking all these strange questions? Well, are you ready? The potato thought to himself, what should I tell him? I don't know. This is so strange. I've never been picked up like this before, and it's very uncomfortable. Well, answer me. Yes, said the potato, I am ready. The potato was talking to his boss, as he discussed what the the wizard had said, the, the potato began to tell his boss that he was beginning to go elsewhere. What? said the boss. You can't go. I need you to work here. I can't find anyone else stupid and poor enough to come work here. The potato thought to himself, that's what he thinks of me? Then for sure, I uh, need to leave. One. And so the potato went back to the strange old wizard, and he told them that they were going to have to sneak out at night. Oh, as I thought, that stingy old boss of yours wouldn't let you take a break if it cost him five cents. So, here's the plan. And so the wizard gave a plan of elaborate detail and such risk that it would indeed pay it off. One. And so, that night, the wizard and the potato snuck off under the cover of darkness, hoping that the boss wouldn't wake up from his slumber. And so, the, the old man pulled out a strange-looking bottle of something, and he splashed himself with it, teleporting him and the potato Back to his so the potato and the wizard teleported back to the wizard's lair, where the wizard told him of something rather. One. Ah, uh, my dear potato, said the wizard, now that we are finally free of that evil man you call a boss, I think it's time you finally learned of your own destiny. What is he talking about? The potato thought to himself. I haven't a clue. Ah. Uh, you don't even know, do you? The wizard walked to a stand that held a book. Once upon a time, there, there was a long time ago, they said there was a prophecy that told of a potato that would come back and slay the dragon that was terrorizing these lands and save the world. What, thought the potato? He couldn't possibly be talking about me. I'm just an ordinary farm potato. I can't slay a dragon. I know you have doubts, young potato. But trust me, you can do this. But first, you need a sword. And I know just who to talk to. One. And so, the wizard and the potato went to the house of Forrest the Mountain Man. Okay, we just need to knock and hope he lets us in. Unless you are the meat delivery man. Go away. 
but it is me, the pie who lives in the neighboring mountain. Oh, it is you. Fine, very well, come inside. I believe I have found the potato of the prophecy. What is impossible is old legend and is true none at all. But it is true. I have found him. He was working on a farm like the prophecy said he would be. And it is true. Tell him, potato. And so the potato thought to himself, what exactly am I supposed to tell him? I'm just a potato from a farm. Yes, said the potato. I am, f I am the chosen one. No, is not possible. You cannot be the chosen one. You may work on farm, but plenty of people work on farm. You don't see them trying to slay a dragon. But please, said the potato, I am the chosen one. I need a sword. Tell him, wizard. Yes, it is true. We have come for a sword. No, Boris will not help. I've got meat. Very well, then. Let us go to the blacksmithery. And so, Boris the Mountain Man went about his business, trying to create the most perfect sword he could find for the potato. Until final, and finally, the sword was finished. His good sword has many enchantments. It is extremely valuable. Take good care of it. But, however, I give you sword on one condition. I come with you. I've always wanted to see if this dragon was real or not. Very well then, but we had better be off, or we won't miss our chance at destroying this thing once fin and for all. Fine. <sighs> okay then, let's see what happened next. Ah oh, yes, they traveled, and they traveled, and they traveled some more, and they're still traveling, and traveling, and traveling. And traveling some more. You know what? The, this is just like five more pages of s traveling, so let's just skip to... Where is it? Oh, yeah. Here it is. One. And so they finally reached the lair that housed the portal to the dragon. You two go alone. Boris does not like dark. Boris is slightly terrified of dark. Fine, you bearded mountain coward. Me and the potato will go in alone. And so, as they walk through the maze, that was the labyrinth. Let's see, they walk through the maze, maze, still in the maze, and as they turned the corner, they spotted something odd coming from the doorway. Could it be? It is! The portal to the dragon! We did it, Potato! Now, we must go slay the dragon! But suddenly, the old man collapsed. Ugh! Are you okay? cried the Potato. Yes, but I am far too old to carry on this quest. You must go alone! Okay, said the Potato. I will slay the dragon. And I will stop this madness. Go, go, potato. You can do this. It was a fierce battle. The dragon was showing no signs of being vanquished anytime soon. But the potato was fighting as fiercely as it could. And so the dragon was defeated. And the potato had completed his quest. And that, my friends, is the story of Potato Day. And as the potato completed his quest on December 23rd, we celebrate Potato Day in his honor. That, my friends, is the entire story of Potato Day.